We were headed out to preview some new construction for some clients and we decided while we were out, why not just do a tour of Charlestown for everybody? <laughs> This is our walking and driving tour to give you a taste of what this town is really like. If we miss any spots that you think are important, put it in the comments so other people know that there's other places to check out. And just to clarify, we're talking about Charlestown, two words, not Charleston, which is about 300 miles away. Charlestown is the county seat of Jefferson County is, and is a growing area. Now we got to get going because Hannah's very excited about all the restaurants. Yes, I think we will have at least two meals today. We already stopped at one. <laughs> I have to say, Joan and Joe's hot cold brew with a little bit of cream is amazing. Joan and Joe's is an awesome place to stop for coffee and we love the little chocolate espresso bean on top. Yum. <laughs> I'm going to start exploring with my favorite way to find out about New Town with my taste buds. In downtown Charlestown, Ortego's Taco Shop is one of my favorite spots for a quick and affordable meal when I'm running around between showings. Nearby, we have Grandma's Diner. It's a family-owned restaurant that serves traditional American fare like breakfast, burgers, and sandwiches. Also in downtown, we have a Thai kitchen and bar offering small shareable portions in multiple courses and vegan options as well. Heading into the outskirts, you'll be hard-pressed to find a cozier place for a meal than Alfredo's Mediterranean Cuisine, located just in front of the Hollywood Casino entrance. They serve Mediterranean and American cuisine and feature an exquisite and romantic environment with a fireplace, a fountain, and piano. We had a really great business meeting there once. We did! <laughs> don't let the non-traditional exterior fool you here. You don't want to miss this place. Absolutely. All right, now I think it's time to walk off those meals. <laughs> I'm full just thinking about all of it. Okay, let's move on to recreation. There are so many amazing options to be active and enjoy nature in Charlestown. It's one of my favorite things about this area. Let's start with here and now, Evitts Run Park, one of Charlestown's most serene green spaces. This peaceful park offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of daily life. You can enjoy a leisurely walk, have a picnic, or simply relax by the stream, which flows swiftly sometimes. Yes. <laughs> and of course, it's nice now, but just wait until the spring when the leaves start to pop. It's going to be gorgeous. The largest park in Charlestown itself is the Jefferson County Memorial Park with two basketball courts, three tennis courts, two playground areas, four pavilions, and an outdoor public swimming pool. Another popular spot nearby is Sam Michaels Park in Harper's Ferry. This is a 131-acre park with walking trails, pavilions, playgrounds, and more. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, you'll love the nearby Happy Creek Trail. The trail offers scenic hiking and biking opportunities and is surrounded by forests. This trail is perfect for anyone looking to explore the natural beauty of Charlestown. And speaking of nature, Charlestown has some fantastic bird watching spots like the Wild Goose Trail. And there's also Cool Spring Preserve if you like to hike and enjoy bird, butterfly, and maybe even some frog sightings. Mm, sounds perfect. There are plenty of hiking opportunities in and around Charlestown. Two of the most popular spots are Ravens Rocks in the Blue Ridge Mountains and Maryland Heights in Harper's Ferry. Both hikes are fairly steep, I would say moderate, but lead to picturesque overlooks that are very much worth the hike. If water sports are more your thing, you can enjoy canoeing, fishing, or tubing along the Shenandoah River and also the Potomac River. If you're enjoying our tour, it would mean so much to us if you would like the video and even subscribe to our channel to see future tours. Liking and subscribing helps our channel reach more people or even commenting. Drop a comment below if you have any requests for future videos or questions for us. Or send us an email if you're ready to start talking more about a move to West Virginia or some of the surrounding areas. We're happy to help. Okay, after all that hiking and canoeing, I'm definitely ready to kick back and relax. Okay, let's dive into nightlife. The spot Charlestown is best known for is the Hollywood Casino and Charlestown races. Here you can play some cards or slots, bet on the horse races, and even stay overnight in the hotel. There's a golf course, spa, and a number of restaurants. There are a handful of late night bars in Charleston as well, including three options downtown. We have got your craft brewery with a full kitchen and abolitionist ale works. Also the host of many great local events, including trivia night and live music. Also, I saw one that was pairing beers with Girl Scout cookies. I thought was very Ooh, creative. That is creative. <laughs> then you have KCR Barrel Saloon, a great place for live music on the weekends and also a breakfast spot for those early morning risers. One of their Facebook reviews says it's just like cheers. Sounds good. Yeah. Patty's Irish Pub features a warm fireplace, a patio, and a dartboard. It also has live bands, trivia, evenings, and brunch on Sundays. And then outside of town, we've got Long Shots Billiards, the perfect place to watch the big game, play pool, darts, arcade games, and even some karaoke. Get your Aldi shopping done afterwards. Well, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of groceries, we'll go over these really fast since many want to know their shopping options. 
our favorite local spot is Bushel on a Peck, which offers all kinds of local produce and products. For a more traditional grocery store, you have Aldi, Walmart, and Martins. For shopping, there are all kinds of specialty stores like Needful Things Emporium, The Succulent Garden, and Yarnability. And for the thrifters, the Goodwill in Charlestown is one of my favorite spots. I always find great stuff there. Just don't tell too many people about it so it doesn't get ransacked because I want to keep going there. <laughs> to round it off, we'll name some of the popular tourist spots and historic destinations you may want to visit while you're here. The Old Opera House is a popular spot to catch a show, and lovers of history will be interested to see the Jefferson County Courthouse where John Brown was put to trial for the Harpers Ferry Raid. And you have, of course, historic Harpers Ferry and the Antietam Battlefield nearby as well. We went to these places on field trips growing up, and I have to say I always learn something new every time I go. If you enjoyed this video, next up you need to watch our video on the myths and realities of Martinsburg to learn about another popular city in the Eastern Panhandle. Drop into the comments with any questions about Charlestown or the surrounding areas, or tell us if we missed any important spots. See you next time.